I'm going to say it's the internet of bad things because right now there's a lot of bad things out there. And they're incredibly powerful uh, machines at the edge. Uh, a chipset that costs just a few dollars, in fact, probably less than a dollar, can push a megabit a second trivially. Uh, there are millions of these things out there. Um, and they're, uh, they're, you know, they're, they're controlling your thermostat. They're you know, watching your child. They're watching your cat, your fish tank at home. Uh, endless sort of opportunities. I was at a friend's house in Rotterdam earlier this week, and he had 120 plus IoT devices in his house, uh, uh, mostly light bulbs um, for all types of visual effects, to echoes, to ring, you know, the doorbells. To it, I mean, it's just endless. And this continues. This is a hundred machines that are as powerful as a PC I might have worked on, you know, 15, 20 years ago all connected to the internet, capable of driving traffic. Crazy world that we live in now. Uh, and, but the reason that we have these things is they fulfill a social and personal need. So I, I'm not saying to stop that, and I'm not saying that IoT is, is the problem. Uh, so let's talk about infections. Human infection versus machine infection. Uh, you, you can compare the two, but the issues with human infections is they tend to burn themselves out. We have yet to have that pandemic uh, in my lifetime, uh, and so they will burn themselves out. But with these machine infections, and particularly these, this last, you know, most recent uh, set of instances, uh, they just revert back to being susceptible. And that's where the zombie metaphor is coming in, is that they, they come alive, they, you know, they do their thing, they exhaust memory, in the case of the Mirai specific one, they die off, they become susceptible again. Uh, so it's a zombie just waiting to come back to life, and come back to life just controlled based on the speed of light, basically the internet backbone and the ability for scanners to, to refine uh, these uh, compromised uh, places and you know, just sort of kickstart the whole thing again. So tremendous amount of scanning activity going on. Uh, I can't really speak to that. Like I said I'm not a security researcher, but uh, I get what's going on here. And the more these are out there, the more world scans are occurring. And it's just taking off. Uh, and uh, now, it, uh, and bizarrely, thankfully, maybe, open sourcing Mirai seems to be uh, blunting its propagation. It's mutating. It's fragmenting. Uh, some of the compromised hosts are cut off as the injected target puts up its defenses, yet loses, you know, but possibly loses its controller, and so they fall out uh, of, of the network for a while. But a power cycle is all it's going to take at some point for them to become uh, uh, zombies again. Uh, so how are we going to solve this, uh, survive this zombie invasion? 